Hello, and welcome back to Virtual Cheese Emporium. I would like to welcome you all to the second episode of our brand new art sector. I'm really glad that you all enjoyed my last painting video and hope you get a good dose of those summer vibes along with enjoying the paintings that I made for you all. To mark our second episode, I decided to do something more special for you all. As you know from earlier videos, I love to show off my artwork and make it a point to do it as often as I can. But obviously you have not seen the full effect of my artwork. So because of quarantine, I decided to gather up all of my artwork and rank it for you all. Now, my ranking is going to be on my personal preference since it is my art after all, and not professional skill. So don't get too hasty with all that criticism, okay? And though my art collection is vast and beautiful, I have only chosen 10 pictures and a few honorable mentions to rank today. So without further ado, let's gather all my art and rank them together. Here are our candidates for my little ranking contest. Sure, it may seem like blank paper for now, but once I turn them over and show them to you, they will be beautiful pieces of art for me to judge. Ranked at number 10 is my broken celestial face picture. I made this around 1 to 2 years ago for an Instagram drawing contest, but unfortunately for me, I couldn't turn it in on time. But I still posted it later on my Instagram page if you want to see all the edits and saturation to it. It's at number 10 because of lack of technical precision and the lack of colors that I use. Plus, the hair's not as fluffy as I wanted it to be. And the cracks I made in the galaxy? That doesn't make much sense to me now. But it's still a very unique and stylish art piece. At number 9 is my Cotton Candy Cloud Goddess. A lot of these pictures are going to be Instagram contest entries. Gotta be consistent with the theme. I'm really, really proud of how I drew her fluffy cloud hair and her super pretty hands. I also really love the swirly pink, blue, and purple color palette that I use. It's actually a favorite of mine. One thing I probably could have used is some restraint with the clouds and making her face a lot rounder and cuter, but still love my cloud girl. Number 8 is my green-eyed cat boy and his adorable little kittens. I must say, he's one of the most stylish boys that I've ever had the pleasure of putting on the paper. It was really fun designing his clothes and making those awesome green nails on his hands. I've also developed a brand new eye style if you've noticed. I'm definitely going to be using this for more guys and girls in the future. Not to mention the cute cats on his head really round out the whole package. We're definitely drawing more stylish boys soon. In 7th is the world-renowned Angel Dust from Hasbin Hotel. I finally decided to try out some fan art along with multiple arms and a much more dynamic pose. If I knew how to cosplay, and I probably will soon, I would definitely wear that dress, or is it a really long shirt, along with those boots, hair, makeup, everything else. I love you Angel Dust, you're absolutely perfect. And guys, come back for more fan art if you want to see some more. Coming in at number 6 is original character Mars. Now this may sound a bit cringy, but I thought it would be cool to join a K-pop group in the future. But a language barrier and lack of training quashed that dream pretty quickly. So I decided to draw my own K-pop group instead with a really cool space concept. I knew I wanted Mars to have a really nice alien-like design with its clothes and whole aesthetic, and this is what I came up with. And yes, believe it or not, Mars is a full-fledged dude. He just has amazing style and flair. So here he is at number 6. Here are the final five contestants. Now at number five is Jupiter. No, no, not the planet, silly. The second member of my original K-pop group. He's a sweet vampire boy with a super sweet pastel aesthetic. Hence the pink hair, the jewelry, and lots and lots of flowers in his hair. But honestly, I just want a couple's little cute face in my hands. He's just so roly-poly and cute and I love him so much. I'm gonna draw him in so many cute clothes in the future. It's gonna be great.
We're so close to the final three, everybody. At fourth place is my handsome St. Valentine's Day Cupid. This is an original artwork that I made especially for Valentine's Day. I haven't drawn guys for quite a while, so this was a special treat for myself and all of my Instagram followers. My favorite things about him are his beautiful face, obviously, along with the big swirls on his chest and arms. I have no idea how I just suddenly drew this beautiful man, but I'm so glad that I did. Happy Valentine's Day! We're in the top three, everybody! Number three is my pink mermaid. We have now migrated back to Instagram drawing contest entries in order to show off my primetime art skills on the grams. And as soon as I saw that beautiful mermaid reference on Instagram, I knew I had to up the ante with my drawing skills. And after countless hours of creating my masterpiece, my mermaid was born. My favorite element of her is her beautiful red lips. She's just so pretty, I love her. We're down to the final two, everybody. This was a tough decision to make, but in second place is Phoebe. My darling bunny girl was created in 2019 when I was still a bit more of an amateur artiste. She was one of my first Instagram contest entries ever, so I needed to pull out all the stops and boost up my art confidence. And here is my darling girl to this day. Now this version is the original. Here's the new redraw that was created in 2020. Which do you guys like better? I love both my ladies equally. Now before I reveal my number one pick, here are some beautiful honorable mentions. And now, the moment you've all been waiting for. My number one pick is... Shadow! He was drawn in 2017, made from a reference in one of my old drawing books. Like with Cupid, I have no idea how I managed to just suddenly draw this beautiful man out of absolutely nowhere, but I'm so glad that I did. But like with Phoebe, there is a recent redraw. Here he is in 2019, with a new revamped style and everything. I will admit, I do like him better than the old one, and that's a dirty little secret of mine. But I can't find anything to fix about either of them, so that's why he's number one. I hope you guys had fun participating in my art contest. Let me know if you want more things like this soon. Bye bye Alright everybody, that is my top 10 pieces for you all today. If you decided to stick around for the entire video, you would have noticed that my art style has changed a lot over the past 5 years? Yeah, 5, yeah, like around 5 years. It was really nice to go through all my old art and just see how ugly it was and then how pretty it is now. It really brought back some really good memories. If you guys like this video, please make sure to give it a like and I will definitely be making more art stuffs to fill up the art sector. It may take a little bit, but I will eventually be able to figure out how to film an art tutorial, and I may even dabble in a few art challenges here and there. Well everybody, it is time to close the art sector for now, and time for me to film some more primetime content for you all. Please come back in a few days, because we're all going to be celebrating a very special occasion very soon. Well, it's time for me to edit this video and draw some more excellent art for you all to witness in the future. So I'd like to thank you all for coming back to Virtual Teas Emporium, and I hope to see you all again very, very soon. Have an awesome day, and stay safe. Bye-bye!